I personally feel like I got a lot of reps, obviously more than I ever have in my whole college career, so I feel like I got a lot better. I feel like uh, those of us who were healthy got a lot better. And then I feel like, uh, you know, it was tough dealing with all the injuries, but uh, there was an emphasis placed on not only hurrying back because we need you, but also putting our, getting ourselves in better shape than we ever have been to be able to prevent injuries. So a lot of good things came out of it, both on and off the football field. What do you feel like you guys learned the last, about the team the last four weeks? Uh, that everybody's one play away. No, seriously, we need depth and we need, because, you know, we're sitting out there and it's nice to re sit back and throw your hands behind your head and say, oh, well, we're going to have him back in the fall and we're going to have him back in the fall. Well, man, they're just like they got hurt and went down in spring, they can go down in the fall. So uh, we can't throw our hands up and lose the season. We have to keep fighting, and that means that uh, the next guy in line's got to be ready. What are the expectations going forward between now and uh, August when you guys come back for fall camp? Um, to have gotten better. I think uh, the mentality in the past perhaps has been just not to lose ground. You want to do enough to maintain and then get better through fall camp. Well, um, we feel like we have a structure in place and, and a plan in place to give us enough volume and reps to essentially have another spring ball in the summer. Now, um, you can't. it's not as intense, it's not as regimented, but through uh, you know those three months of hard summertime, you know we want to get 15 practices worth of, of work done, uh, and we've ca calculated it down to number of reps and in certain drills, both individual and then offense, defense, and then crossover. So uh, that's the goal for the summer, along with obviously getting ourselves into the best shape uh, physically that we can get in. Do you feel like you're the clear leader of this team? That you've kind of emerged, even though they haven't elected captains yet. That this is basically your team, and guys are going to follow you this off season. Well, Coach Mendenhall is the leader, and uh, we all follow. We trust in him and his plan, and uh, and fall behind. So I feel confident in in uh, his vision for this team, and am a in a hundred. I am a hundred percent behind Coach Mendenhall, and then offensively, uh, even to bring it down a level from that, I'm a hundred percent with Coach Doman in the in the plan and vision he has for the offense and and. I am excited uh, to be able to help our team um, catch that vision because uh, if we do, we have a chance to be very good. Today obviously was alumni day. What's it like playing in front of former players and saw Max Hall out there? What do they, what do they say to you when, when they're talking to you? It's really good. Well, Max is almost like a coach. I think they should pay him for being out here today. No, uh, I say that because uh, I, I actually pulled him aside and I said, hey, because Coach Doman is, is big picture stuff and um, you know he teaches us on mechanics and technique but that's only a small portion of practice that's like maybe two or three drills and then the rest he's got to worry more about scheme plays you know defense strategy and all that stuff and he can't focus on my footwork or he can't focus on my arm mechanics and things like that so it was nice to have Max out here today I really appreciate it I said hey here's some things I've been struggling with will you look at this will you look at that and uh, tell me what you think and uh, how I can get better. And, and he did that, you know, it, more than I expected. I got a lot of notes and a lot of stuff to work on from Max. And then just the older guys, um, for them to come out here and to care, first of all, it's great to see the numbers. And, and uh, second of all, it obviously it fills you up uh, with pride in, in the fact that you get to play for this program, but also you feel a very heavy responsibility um, that you don't want to squander what those guys have, had worked so hard to build. What are you going to do to have fun this summer? Wakeboard or wake surf. I love wake surfing, wakeboarding. Wake surfing's easier on your body, so I'll do more wake surfing than wakeboarding. Um, man, play with the guy. Like uh, last summer, we did a lot of like beach volleyball stuff, and then just train. I mean, training's fun. That's that's my favorite thing to do in the summer. Is it's the only time when you get to concentrate solely on your fitness, you know, and really get yourself into the kind of shape that you do. And I know there's a lot of guys on this team that are excited for that. Um, so train first and foremost, second, get out, get out on the lake as much as I can. And then third, if we can play some softball, maybe some, some beach volleyball, that'd be great too.